It's Jake again for another deck profile. Uh, I'm going to be doing my Super Heavy Samurais. Um, I feel like this deck has uh, changed the game a lot with the whole being able to attack and defense position. And I, I'm a really big fan of that. Just kind of sometimes it's one of my stall decks, just a wall. So uh, let's get into it. First of all is our big ace in the hole. We have three big Ben K. He's the big level eight guy in the deck. Um, 35 defense. Let's every Super Heavy Samurai attack and defense position. So not just him, but everyone. Uh, next we have three Blue Brawler. A really good generic level four. He can't be destroyed by battle and he's a 2000 wall. So just kind of sit on that. And then you have uh, the uh, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. What he does is any Super Heavy Samurai monster that is uh, being attacked, um, your opponent's monster becomes zero if they attacked. So that's what he does. Uh, we have two scales. If my opponent has two or more monsters on the field and I have nothing, I can special summon him from my hand, and he special summons a level four or lower Super Heavy Samurai from my graveyard to the field. Uh, we have three Flutist. And what Flutist does is you tribute him to special summon a Super Heavy Samurai from your hand. So there's lots of combos to do with this, but mainly you'd want to just Flutist into Big Ben K. And his other effect is when he's in the graveyard, uh, if a Super Heavy Samurai is targeted for an effect, you can banish him to negate that. And destroy it, of course. Next we have two Giga Gloves. What he does is when, he's, when he hits the graveyard anytime, so from hand or field, or deck even, you can look at the top five cards of your deck and rearrange them in any order. And his other effect is if you're being attacked directly, you can banish him, draw a card, reveal it. If that is a Super Heavy Samurai monster, your opponent's attack... Uh, the attack of my opponent's monster becomes permanently zero. So it's a good save. It's a save, saving grace of the deck. Uh, I run two magnets because one, uh, it's a magnet lock, of course. And his other effect is when he's normal summoned, you can special summon a Super Heavy Samurai that's level four or lower from your hand. So the other lock, you can go in for a synchro summon faster or anything like that. Next we have two prep defense, who I guess you could say he's the gores of the deck. When you're being attacked directly and you take a damage directly, you can special summon him from your hand and he cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects until the end of that turn. Uh, onto the only pendulums they have right now is one Jade and two Coral. What Jade does is basically he can, uh, his pendulum effect is he just makes a monster gain a level so you can uh, synchro summon better or get into something you want. And his monster effect is you can just tribute one monster and basically he just attacks in defense for 28. Now Coral on the other hand, he allows, um, I feel he's more superior, he allows any of your super heavy samurais that have destroyed a monster by battle to attack again. And his monster effect is you can normal summon him, tribute up to two monsters you control to draw that many cards. So he's a drawer and really good in the pendulum zone. Under the tuners, which you have Trumpeter, which is my favorite personally. He just, no spells or traps in the graveyard and just special summons himself. And of course this deck is all monsters, so it's awesome. And just good generic level two. Uh, next you have uh, the fun one, Battle Ball. Now of course again, uh, most of these have the effects of if there's no spell or traps. His effect is I target a monster my opponent controls and I use that to synchro summon into a uh, Super Heavy Samurai. So it's pretty fun to use against your opponent. Uh, last is Two Drum. His effect is when he's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon any Super Heavy Samurai monster from your graveyard. So that means Big Ben K or even the big monsters in the Synchro, uh, the synchro Mutt deck. The extra deck, sorry. On to uh, the Souls, which count as the spells of the deck, which are three Soul Piercer. Not only does it let you do piercing, but when it hits the graveyard, it searches for any Super Heavy Samurai card that you need to the hand. Next we have two Soul Fire Suit. Uh, you basically discard it, your monster loses 800 defense, and it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So it really helps you and saves you in a bad, bad tight spot. Uh, two Soul Shield Wall because it gives you 1200 defense and it's the uh, one, it's the only equip card that gives the most defense so far. And uh, his other effect is when he uh, when your opponent's monster attacks one of your monsters, you can ditch this to the grave, 
make your uh, defense permanently zero, but you can negate the attack. You have two Soul Gauntlets, which is basically your Honest of the deck doubling your defense until the end of the turn, which is pretty good. Or you can just equip it to give your monster 400 defense, but you'll basically do the Honest effect. Uh, last, we have the Soul Bank Cannon. It gives 1,000 defense, but his other effect is if you have a Super Every Samurai in defense position and your opponent activates a monster effect during the battle, you can banish it from the graveyard, uh, destroy all special summon monster, destroy all monsters on the field, and both players take a thousand points of damage. And then, last of all, we just have two giant rat to basically bring out Big Ben K or anyone that can come out. Onto the extra deck, we have the big guy himself, three warlords Susanowo, probably the strongest out so far, level 10. Basically, his effect is no spell or traps in grave. You can steal a spell or trap your opponent controls once per turn during either player's turn. And whenever that card leaves the field, it's banished instead. Next, we have Ogre Shooting Doji. Uh, one of the easier ones to get out. Uh, he's basically a heavy storm. No spell or traps in grave, of course, and blow up all spell or traps your opponent controls. Uh, for the last of the Super Heavy Samurai Synchros, we're running two Beast QB. Uh, basically, for every special summon monster my opponent controls, he gains 900 defense. So if you pendulum summon 9, or you just have 9 special summon monsters on the field, or 5, sorry, um, he can go up to 7,000 defense. And of course, attack in defense position. So he can be a beast. Um, we have a Nateria Barkia, or a Nateria Beast, to uh, negate spells. A Nateria Barkion to negate traps. A uh, Ally Cataster just to pop non-dark monsters. We have a Goyo Guardian to steal for a Synchro Summon, of course. Black Rose to pop field. Uh, a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon to negate monster effects and gain attack. And then a Trishula, because he's level 9, and you can get into this, of course. Banish three cards. And that is my deck profile. Hope you guys liked it. I'm a really big fan of the deck. I uh, was a big fan of Arc 5, still am. That's one of the major decks in it. Uh, the whole attacking and defense, your opponent never sees it coming. So I uh, hope you all enjoy the deckathon, the deck profiles, and I'll see you later. Like and subscribe.